For months, 3i Atlas was treated as a curiosity, a strange interstellar visitor, yes, but still something we could file away as a comet and move on. That narrative no longer survives contact with the data. James Webb, Hubble, ground-based telescopes, and even a deep space probe have all converged on the same uncomfortable conclusion. This object is not behaving like anything we have ever observed before. It is smaller than expected, brighter than predicted, surrounded by a shell of dust and gas, and changing as it moves toward Jupiter when it should be doing the opposite. Even more unsettling, it may not be traveling alone. Something is accompanying it, something that does not evaporate, does not accelerate the same way, and refuses to fit into existing models. NASA says more data is needed. Scientists say the mystery is growing. And what James Webb and Hubble are now revealing forces us to ask a question that sounds unbelievable but can no longer be ignored. What exactly is 3i Atlas? As more precise orbital data became available, something subtle but disturbing emerged. According to the JPL Horizon system, 3i Atlas does not behave like a simple spherical or irregular comet nucleus. Instead, its light curve and motion suggest a teardrop-like geometry, a shape that naturally creates asymmetries in how material is released and how light is reflected. That alone would already make it unusual. But the real shock came when scientists noticed that other objects appear to be traveling alongside it. These companions do not sublimate, they do not show typical cometary behavior, and most importantly, they do not share the same non-gravitational acceleration as 3i Atlas itself. In plain terms, something is moving with it, but not as it. This is not debris dispersing randomly, and it is not material simply falling apart. It looks coordinated, persistent, and stable over time, forcing researchers to reconsider whether this is a single object at all, or a much more complex system moving through interstellar space. Then came the observation that truly unsettled the community. A repeating brightness pattern, measured with astonishing precision, appearing every 16.16 hours. Not approximately, not irregularly, precisely. This was not poetic language or metaphor, but data published and discussed in astrophysical studies. 3i Atlas appears to pulse, brightening and dimming in a rhythm so consistent that some scientists began referring to it as a cosmic heartbeat. The most conservative explanation is rotational modulation, a nucleus spinning and periodically exposing an active region to sunlight. But even that explanation struggles under scrutiny. The regularity, the timing near its closest approach to Earth, and the way this pulse interacts with its jets and surrounding material suggests something more structured than a random patch of ice heating up. Whether this heartbeat reflects rotation, internal processes, or something even more complex, one thing is clear, this object is not passive. When Hubble turned its wide field camera toward 3i Atlas, the resulting image did not look dramatic to the untrained eye. But for scientists, it was a gold mine. Tracking the object's motion rather than the background stars, Hubble revealed a nucleus only about 5.6 kilometers in diameter, far smaller than earlier estimates, wrapped in a bright extended coma and a tail stretching thousands of kilometers into space. This immediately raised a red flag. A nucleus this small should not be capable of sustaining such intense activity for so long, especially after perihelion. Yet here it was, growing brighter as it moved toward Jupiter. Even more puzzling, Hubble confirmed a slight but measurable non-gravitational acceleration, consistent without gassing, but too weak to explain the behavior of the surrounding swarm. In other words, part of the system responds to forces the rest of it ignores, a split behavior that simply should not exist in a normal comet. Meanwhile, images from deep space instrumentation revealed something that could not be brushed aside. Two distinct tails, one plasma and one dust, clearly visible and structurally separated. This alone signals intense activity, ionized gases slamming into the solar wind while solid material escapes the nucleus. But then came the detail that breaks the model entirely. After perihelion, astronomers observed a sunward-facing anti-tail, shaped like a luminous teardrop, pointing directly toward the sun. According to classical comet physics, this should not happen in a stable, persistent way. And yet, there it was, reinforced by calculations showing a tiny but consistent non-gravitational force acting on 3i Atlas, decreasing with distance exactly like solar gravity. The implication is unsettlingly simple. 
the object appears to be receiving an extra push, while the surrounding swarm does not. That difference in acceleration naturally creates a stable anti-tail made not of gas, but of countless small bodies reflecting sunlight. At this point, we are no longer just watching a comet. We are watching a system, and we are only beginning to understand it. As astronomers continued tracking 3i Atlas, it became impossible to ignore a disturbing detail. It is not traveling alone. Images and orbital reconstructions show a swarm of accompanying objects moving along its trajectory. Objects that do not evaporate, do not fragment, and most importantly, do not share the same non-gravitational acceleration as the main body. This immediately rules out the simplest explanation of loose dust or gas. Dust disperses. Ice sublimates. These companions do neither. They remain coherent, persistent, and geometrically organized, maintaining a stable configuration relative to 3i Atlas itself. This is deeply problematic for classical comet models, because a comet shedding material should leave behind a chaotic debris field, not an orderly entourage. What we are seeing instead looks like a system shedding solid components that behave collectively, creating optical effects powerful enough to dominate what our telescopes perceive as the coma. This is where the mystery sharpens dramatically. The sunward-facing anti-tail observed after perihelion is not behaving like a classical dust structure. Its shape is stable, teardrop-like, and remarkably persistent, always pointing toward the sun. Calculations using JPL horizons revealed a small but measurable non-gravitational acceleration acting on 3i Atlas itself, decreasing with distance in the same way solar gravity does. The crucial detail is that the surrounding swarm does not experience this acceleration. The result is counterintuitive but elegant. As 3i Atlas is subtly pushed, the swarm lags behind, forming a dense, reflective structure that points sunward. In simple terms, the anti-tail is not gas being blown backward. It is a trail of solid objects acting like a mirror, reflecting enormous amounts of sunlight and tricking our instruments into seeing a structure that looks impossible under traditional comet physics. Here is where scale becomes deceptive. Models suggest that a swarm composed of trillions of tiny solid fragments, collectively representing only a tiny fraction of the mass of the nucleus, could reflect up to 99% of the visible light we attribute to the coma. Individually, these fragments would be nearly invisible. Together, they create a luminous illusion that overwhelms even professional telescopes. This explains why amateur astrophotography sometimes appears more dramatic than Hubble images, because different instruments emphasize different aspects of the same phenomenon. What looks like gas and dust in one data set becomes a structured reflective cloud in another. The terrifying implication is that we may not be seeing the object at all, but rather its entourage. The true nucleus could be partially or completely hidden behind this swarm, shielded by its own debris in a way no ordinary comet has ever demonstrated. At this stage, scientists are forced into uncomfortable territory. The conservative interpretation is that these objects are solid fragments of rock and ice, released during perihelion, dense enough not to evaporate and massive enough to resist radiation pressure. This explanation works, but only barely. And only if we assume 3i Atlas spent billions of years drifting through interstellar space without encountering other stars that would have torn such a fragile structure apart. A more speculative line of thought considers whether the geometry of the swarm implies a level of organization we do not yet understand. Not artificial probes, not technology, but something structurally unfamiliar, perhaps material originating from a larger differentiated body. Whatever the answer, one conclusion becomes unavoidable. 3i Atlas is not just releasing gas and dust, it is shedding objects, and those objects are rewriting how we interpret what we see. Among all the anomalies surrounding 3i Atlas, none is as haunting as its pulse. A precise, repeatable brightness variation occurring every 16.16 hours, measured consistently across multiple observing campaigns. This is not noise, this is not an artifact of instrumentation, this is a rhythm embedded in the object itself. At first glance, the most conservative explanation points to rotation, a nucleus spinning and periodically exposing an active region to sunlight. That idea works on paper, but only until you examine the details. The pulse does not simply brighten and fade, it modulates the entire structure of the coma and interacts with the jets and the surrounding swarm. 
Each cycle appears to trigger a coordinated response, as if the object were breathing, expelling material in a controlled cadence rather than erupting randomly. This is profoundly different from what we see in chaotic comet outbursts, where activity spikes unpredictably and then collapses. Here, the system behaves like a clock, and clocks imply structure. The deeper scientists looked into the rotational explanation, the more it began to strain. For a simple rotating nucleus, one would expect the jets to sweep across space, changing direction relative to the sun as the object spins. But observations show that many of the jets remain stubbornly sunward, maintaining a geometry that does not fully track rotational motion. This suggests that rotation alone cannot account for the behavior. Instead, the data points toward internal activity, something happening beneath the surface that is periodically releasing energy and material. This is where the idea of a simple comet truly collapses. Comets do not have internal engines. They respond to external heating. 3i Atlas appears to do both, reacting to the sun while also sustaining processes that continue even when solar input weakens. That dual behavior is extraordinarily rare and deeply unsettling. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its attention toward 3i Atlas, the mystery deepened rather than resolved. Infrared observations revealed a composition dominated by carbon dioxide, with traces of water and a surprising abundance of complex organic compounds. This alone places the object outside the norm for solar system comets, which are typically driven by water-ice sublimation. CO2-driven activity requires different thermal conditions and suggests formation in an environment far colder and more chemically stable than our own. Even more striking was Webb's ability to probe beneath the surface glow, confirming that the activity could not be explained by superficial ice layers alone. The energy driving the jets appeared to originate deeper inside the object, reinforcing the idea that we are not dealing with a loose pile of ice and dust, but something with internal structure and stratification. As these pieces came together, a radically different hypothesis began to gain traction. What if 3i Atlas is not a comet at all, but a fragment of a differentiated body, a piece of an exoplanet or exomoon torn free in another star system and ejected into interstellar space? This would explain almost everything at once. The internal activity, the sustained pulses, the unusual chemistry, the solid fragments that do not evaporate, and the swarm that behaves like debris rather than dust. In this scenario, the object's surface could host cryovolcanism, ice volcanoes driven by internal chemical reactions rather than solar heat, similar to what we observe on bodies like Enceladus or Triton in our own solar system. Spectral similarities to pristine meteorites found in Antarctica further support this idea, hinting at a metal-rich interior capable of sustaining reactions that release energy long after formation. If this is correct, then 3i Atlas is not just visiting us, it is showing us a literal piece of another planetary system, carrying with it a record of processes that normally remain locked inside distant worlds. At this stage, the mystery of 3i Atlas can no longer be approached as a collection of unrelated oddities. Each anomaly on its own might still be explained away with enough creativity, but together they begin to reinforce one another in a way that is impossible to ignore. The pulse, the swarm, the anti-tail, the internal activity, the unusual chemistry, the non-gravitational acceleration, the small nucleus wrapped in an oversized coma, all of these features are not contradicting each other, they are converging. What Webb, Hubble, and ground-based observatories are collectively telling us is that this object does not behave like a loose aggregation of ice responding passively to sunlight. It behaves like a coherent system, one where internal processes, surface structure, and surrounding debris are interacting in a coordinated way. This is the moment when scientists stopped asking which model fits best and started asking what kind of object naturally produces all of this at once. The introduction of cryovolcanism into the discussion changes everything. Cryovolcanoes are not theoretical curiosities. We observe them in our own solar system on bodies like Enceladus and Triton, where internal heat and chemical reactions drive the eruption of ice, gas, and particles into space. Applied to 3i Atlas, this mechanism suddenly explains several mysteries at once. A cryovolcanic interior could sustain activity long after perihelion, produce periodic outbursts aligned with the observed 16.16-hour .16 pulse, and eject solid fragments rather than fine dust, 
naturally creating the swarm that dominates the optical appearance of the object. It would also explain why the nucleus appears small yet disproportionately active, because much of the visible structure would not come from sublimation alone, but from internally powered eruptions. In this framework, 3I Atlas is not cooling down because it is not running on solar heat alone. It is releasing stored internal energy accumulated long before it ever entered our solar system. With cryovolcanism and internal chemistry on the table, the object finally escapes the false binary that dominated early discussions. 3I Atlas is neither a conventional comet nor an artificial spacecraft. Instead, it appears to be something far more unsettling in its normality, a natural fragment of another world. A piece of an exoplanet or exomoon ejected during a violent event in another star system, carrying with it a differentiated interior, metallic components, volatile rich layers, and a chemistry shaped by conditions entirely unlike our own. This interpretation explains why its composition partially resembles pristine meteorites, why its activity resembles icy moons more than comets, and why it releases solid companions instead of dissolving into vapor. The swarm in this context is not debris from decay, but material shed from a coherent body that has survived interstellar travel remarkably intact. When all the data is finally assembled, the picture that emerges is both humbling and astonishing. James Webb reveals a composition dominated by CO2 and complex organics, pointing to formation in an extremely cold, chemically rich environment. Hubble shows a small nucleus sustaining outsized activity, wrapped in a luminous coma that hides more than it reveals. Orbital analysis confirms non-gravitational forces acting selectively, creating stable optical structures that defy classical comet models. The pulse ties it all together, a rhythmic signature of an active interior rather than a dying surface. Taken as a whole, 3 I Atlas is best understood not as a visitor carrying messages, but as a sample, a naturally delivered fragment of another planetary system that has wandered into ours by chance. It is not extraordinary because it is unique, but because it proves that planetary material can survive ejection, interstellar travel, and reactivation around another star. And that realization quietly expands the map of what exists in our galaxy far beyond planets and comets, into a realm of wandering worlds, fragments, and relics that we are only just beginning to recognize. So after all the data, all the images, all the competing theories, we arrive at a conclusion that is both simpler and far more unsettling than anyone expected. 3. I Atlas is not a mystery because it is artificial, and not extraordinary because it breaks the laws of physics. It is extraordinary because it reveals something we were never prepared to accept. Fragments of other worlds can survive, travel, and awaken again around foreign stars. What James Webb and Hubble are showing us is not an alien machine, but something arguably more profound, a natural relic of planetary evolution set adrift between stars. This object carries the fingerprints of a distant system, chemistry shaped in extreme cold, internal structure capable of sustained activity, and a surface that reacts not like a comet slowly dying, but like a body reactivating after a long dormancy. The pulse, the swarm, the cryovolcanic behavior, the unusual composition, all of it points to a fragment torn from a larger world, a moon or planet that once orbited another star and now wanders the galaxy alone. 3I Atlas is not just passing through our solar system. It is reminding us that planetary systems are not closed boxes. They eject material, exchange matter, and occasionally send pieces of themselves across interstellar space. And that is why this discovery leaves scientists speechless. Because if one fragment like this can reach us, then countless others must exist, drifting silently between stars, carrying records of worlds we will never see directly. The universe is not just a collection of isolated planets and suns. It is a dynamic ecosystem, constantly mixing, recycling, and redistributing its building blocks. 3i Atlas didn't arrive to answer every question. It arrived to expand the question itself. Soon it will fade from view, heading back into the darkness beyond our reach. But it leaves behind a permanent shift in perspective. We are no longer just observers of distant worlds. Sometimes the universe delivers a piece of them straight to our doorstep. And the next time an interstellar visitor appears, we won't be asking whether it's real. We'll be asking what part of another world has just arrived.